One of the most anticipated updates in KCAD 8 is the improvements to the embedded spy simulation tools, which is powered by NG Spice. There has been a collaboration between the developers of KiCad and NG Spice, and that has resulted in several new features and bug fixes that make circuit simulation more powerful and practical for KiCad 8 users. So I just wanted to show you what the new simulator or the updated simulator looks like in KiCad 8, and uh, I will compare that to the simulator in KiCad 7. So I've got one of my simple test projects that I use when I want to try out the simulator it's simply a transistor a kind of amplifier and you can access the simulator by clicking on this button right here just like it was possible to do in kickout 7 and that's what the updated simulator window looks like if i compare that to kickout 7 i've got that same project open in kickout 7 and you can access the simulator in the same way so at first glance that looks quite similar but you can see the differences up on the top toolbar there's been a few new buttons in the kicker 8 simulator toolbar for example uh, this button here gives you access to the new simulator tab basically you can use this button to add a new simulator tab that appears right there so I'm just going to add one to show you. Let's do a pole zero analysis, which is actually a new type of analysis in KiCad 8. And you can see that it adds a new tab, and then you can configure uh, the simulator that appears in that tab using the second button, this one right here. And this will allow you to configure the simulation of whichever tab is open. In KiCad 7, in contrast, if you wanted to add a new tab, you need to go to File, New Plot, and then you can go into simulation and settings to make any changes and configure the simulation in that tab. Now, uh, looking at the simulation command here, another thing that I want to show you is that in KiCad 8, we now have additional types of analysis that we can do. So in KiCad 7, we had AC, DC transfer, operating point, transient, and custom. In KiCad 8, we've got, I think, the uh, yeah, pole zero analysis, noise analysis, S parameter analysis, and FFT. So I've got a few new types of analysis to do that are possible to do in KiCad 8. Okay, I'll cancel out of this. Now, in just going to put KiCad 7 away. We're not going to need it anymore. Let's continue with concentrating on KiCad 8 now. Another thing to notice, I'm just going to cancel out of that Analysis 2 tab, is that now we also have the ability to do power simulations. So you can see there's power added in addition to voltage and current. So there's power and it works quite well. I've only done some really basic testing here just to get myself acquainted with these features. So there's power. And you can plot multiple types of signals on the same analysis. You can see here I have voltage, current, and power plotted all together. Of course, I can set cursors. I've got two cursors up here. There's one and there's two for some reason. Let's try and get the number two moving. Voltage, yeah. Can't pick number two for some reason. Oh, there you go. I just wasn't able to grab it properly. So you can play around with the cursors. This feature has been around for a while, so it's nothing new. Now, one thing that I haven't been able to make work is the operating point overlay. So apparently it is possible to show the uh, values that are calculated in the simulator uh, directly onto the schematic. So you'd be able to see, for example, those values here for current and voltage directly on the schematic where they belong. So that would allow you to run the simulation and then on the schematic itself to see what the values for the various um, uh, voltages and, and currents and powers are instead of having to refer back to the simulation window. And that is mentioned in the documentation and also I was just looking at the conversation here on kickup.info and apparently it does work but I haven't been able to make it work in my case and I am working with kickup version 8 release build the labels should appear just like this it's a red label uh, on the schematic directly superimposed I'll 
try to figure out what I'm doing wrong, but I have followed any instruction that I could find to enable this feature and I haven't been successful. This feature can be enabled here under schematic setup. You'll see formatting and then there's the operating point overlay, which allows you to control how many digits, for example, you'd like to show. Uh, let's go back to an example, like how many of those digits you'd like to show, how much accuracy you want. And also, and you need to look at another place, you go to kick out and settings. And here under display options, you'll see the ability to enable or disable the operating point results in the schematic directly. So I've enabled those, uh, disabled them a few times. It doesn't seem to affect my particular example here, but I'm going to keep at it and figure it out eventually. All right. Lastly, if you are new to simulation using NG Spice, just want to point out the excellent documentation of that project. So for example, if you want to understand what I'm doing here with the text properties, it's just a label that contains information that the simulator picks up so that I don't have to configure this particular window. So this, and you can see it's a transient analysis and the settings for this analysis are, are taken from the text label and you can see that the, the command for the analysis is dot tran and of course I can have other types of analysis uh, as those are available now in the KiCad 8 simulator but all those uh, capabilities come from ng spice and if you really want to understand how ng spice works then you need to go to its documentation which you'll find in the ng spice sourceforge project page and then as a documentation it's a pdf document have a look inside here and you can see here on the 15 the various types of analysis and the one that i'm using in my example is a transient analysis you can learn more about it and the syntax that i'm using to configure the simulator in this document overall in my opinion the new simulation features in kicket 8 are a significant enhancement of kickets to analyze and visualize simulation data and does provide a more robust and efficient workflow for electronic design, but it does have a learning curve. So NG Spice and Spice in general is not the easiest thing to learn. I'll spend a bit of time with it and come up with examples of more sophisticated types of analysis. But wait, there's more. As I completed the recording for the first part of this uh, demonstration of the simulator in Kicker 8, the operating point simulator results, as you can see here, actually did appear. I don't think I did anything special other than closing the settings window that I was uh, demonstrating earlier. I simply turned off the recording and then when I looked back the labels had appeared so it was probably a transient issue so this is what the operating point simulation looks like I'll attempt to make some changes and rerun the simulation so let's make that say six all right and bring up the simulator oops wrong thing bring up the simulator and uh, rerun it I'm just going to put it aside and let's see Maybe I need to close it. Save. No. You can see now it disappeared again. Let's do this one more time. Let's close that. Run the simulator. All right. Save. Nothing. Save this document as well. Nothing. I tried to retrace my steps from earlier. So voltages off and on. Currents. I can't show the power yet. The power is, might be a capability that will be added later, but the simulator can work with power signals. Uh, it can do power calculations, but uh, those are not yet shown here in the operating point labels. So that didn't work. Let's try out, play around with these settings. Nothing. Save the document. Nothing. Nothing. So I'm just going to play around and see what happens. Yeah, those labels are not coming back yet. Weird. Anyway. I'll save that and I'll keep an eye on it. There's probably a bug uh, because as, as you saw, the labels do come up somehow eventually. It's just that it doesn't happen on demand. So uh, I suspect there's an issue with KiCad at this point. It's just the KiCad 8.0 and there's a few bugs in the system that will be ironed out eventually. And I suspect that this is one of them. I'm going to file a bug report next.